folks, here's a lesson on some of the easiest fun riffs to play from Frank Zappa's Apostrophe album. Now, Frank Zappa, of course, is known for super complicated, super difficult stuff, super fast. These are kind of the easier, fun chord things, few little riffs here and there from that album. You'll have even way more fun listening to that album if you can play some of these easy riffs. So let's start out with the first song from the album, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow. What's happening here, here goes kind of the basic riff. So that riff by itself is easy enough, but it's in 7-4 time. So if you count that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the way the accent goes, up, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and. Seven, one, two, three, and 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 seven, one, two, three, and 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 seven, one, two, three, and 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 seven. So that's just a D chord, five, seven, seven, seven. Of course, we meet the bottom one here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Just hitting those sevens on that one. So we're going to the open, bottom three strings open there. So we're going down, 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 and up, up. Because those are the up strokes with those beats. So one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and Seven. So at the end of that, you can count that seven. One, two, three, four, and and seven. One, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, and and six, seven. One. So you can count the six and the seven if you prefer that. One, two, three, four, and and seven. One, two, three, four, and and six, seven. Now the next riff is gonna go. Back to the other riff. So let's look at that. One, two, three, and four, and 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 seven, and one, two, three, and four, and 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 seven, and one, two, three, and four, and 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 seven, and. Okay, we got one more riff, but I got to drop down to drop D tuning to get that next riff. Okay, here comes that little bass riff. Or bassy guitar riff, I should say, you know. So we got the open D, open, open, and then the A string, 2-O, and then we got the 4-O, we're in drop D tuning, so I dropped that E string down to a D. Four, open, open, and then the pickup notes. That's four, open, two, and we're back. So let's hear it with the other loop. So Nanook Rubs It is going to be the next one on this list here of kind of easy riffs we can do. So we're going to start out with the A string, 9, 8, 7, 6. And then we got an E flat or D sharp minor 7. So And it's in 6, 8. So it's going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's a B7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's our main chords. I think it's a set of threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
count you on that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is much of the song there. Just wanted to give you that little two chord thing because that goes on a long time. It can be a lot of fun just playing those two chords. Now when you want to get into the solo, think about the D sharp or E flat minor pentatonic scale. So that's your minor pentatonic scale starting in the 11th fret, 11, 14, 11, 13, three times, 11, 14, 11, 14. And then remember Zappa did these blues bends a lot where you got like your ring finger up here bending to the one note. And then you also have, he would do the stretch thing where you come into this higher position. You got those bend things. Okay, so that's just to get you kind of started in the solo scale you would need for that two chord progression. The E flat minor seven to the B seven or D sharp minor seven. Now sometimes he'll put a B nine on there. So that's a seven and muted A and then seven, six, seven. And then there's that one little riff. Strictly commercial, right? So that riff is. So it's a chromatic riff. You got six is a pickup note on an upbeat just before the new measure. And nine, eight, seven, six. And then nine, eight, seven. Then seven, six, seven. That's how I like to play it. I'll switch here to the ring finger. And then when I go there, I know I'm going to move that one back, so I go to here, so I can get back. And then it's going to be second string six. You got a chromatic thing. Six, nine, eight, seven, six. Now here we're going to rake this little minor shape. So that was like eight, seven, and six, and you rake that. So you go quickly up the thing. Slide to the eight, and we got a ten on the second string. All right, so now we're getting into Father Oblivion. Let's take a look at this first riff. So it's just eight eighth notes in that measure. We've got a two two pull off to the open. And then on the A string, that was on the D string, now we got four two O. Oh. And I pull off that two to open there. You can do it you can do a lot quicker if you do those pull offs. And then we got a four to open on the big string. Two two O oh, four two O oh, four O. Oh. Then the next riff is going to be, you got four and two. So that's four and two, four in the fourth string, two in the third string. And you wait until the uh of the two. So it's one E and a two E and a. That's when you come in. One E and a two E and a. One E and a two E and a. And that part is like just after the four and two, you have an A power chord open in two and a G power chord. I just like to use those fingers myself so I can stay in position there. One E and a two E and a. 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 So then there's a lower riff that starts out like this. And then it has that riff in it. So we got O, O, three, four. And that's the D string, two, two, O. Okay, so we got 
three different things that are good. You all want to try that? Let's see. We'll do it nice and slow. Three and four and. This one, remember we go one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a. Let's take that slow. Two, three, four. One e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a. So that's nine and seven here. So the five and four, same strings. So the four and two. So I got one more riff for you. One, two. One, two. So that was zero to two on the fifth string. To the D string open, and then back to that. This time at the big E. One, two. All right, here goes Cosmic Debris. This one is in C minor pentatonic scale for the most part. We're gonna have this riff. Okay, so we got C minor pentatonic, like I said, we got 10, 8, 10 on the D string. And it's got that swing feel to it. 10, 8, 10, and 8 on the G string. And that's 10, 8, 10, 8 on the A string. So. Then we're going to go quick slide. Okay, that's your basic thing. Now you can do the riff here in the same octave if you want. Or you could jump up. That could have been an overdubbed guitar. Who knows? You could have jumped up there. So that whole intro is. So you got three, one, three, three. So that's three on the big string, one on the B flat on the A string. And then we just got that same pentatonic minor. So five on the D slide note. thing. Now we have C minor 7, D minor 7, E flat major 7. Back to the D minor 7. Then we got this little riff. So that's a little fun one. That's 11 and 11 to the 10 on the third string to the 11 to the 12 in the little string. Back to the 10, and then 10, 10, 8, 8. And that's both on the third to first and third to first, so. You do it mostly with your first finger there, or you could go. At that point, a lot of these things, these double stop things end up happening with these two fingers, so. If you like that better, then you'll be about. at the end there that goes that's one two three one one
it's going to end with. Okay, so. So that kind of stuff. So that's Cosmic Debris. You'd be soloing in your C minor pentatonic scale for the most part. There's some four and five chord changes there in the solo. So listen for that. Check that out. It's a good little blues progression. Gives it a little twist. Gives it a little uh, more jammy feel than the rest of the song by moving into those different chord changes and stuff. And then it's got a cool little blues ending at the end where you go up to like one half step, one fret above where that C7 would be. One of those things for the ending. So here goes apostrophe. So here goes the first riff, 037 on the big string. You can hammer onto that three. To the D note here, fifth fret, A string. And then five, seven, five, seven. I use my pinky down there for that. That's the D string going to quick to nine from the seven and back. So 037, five, five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven. G to A to E minor twice. Then we got a D. We got that bass solo. Five, four, three. So it just does that a lot, and then that's going to end with like a B chord down here. And that's like in your B minor pentatonic, you could do those double nines there on the second and third string. Then here comes a fancy little Zappa lead riff. So let's look at that. That's 5 2 0, oh, double pull off. Double hammer on 057. One more seven. And then go to the open. Then we bend this nine up. And we rake down seven, seven, nine, seven. All right, and here is the last thing for this lesson. I'm sure I'll do another one. We'll get into more fancy stuff next time. But anyway, we're gonna do a little bit on Stinkfoot, just a little bit. So basically you're coming from a C down to an F, almost in a doo-wop kind of thing. This is another like six, eight, 12, eight thing, sets, and sets of threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Eight, eight, five, seven, eight, and then that slide to the ten, eight, and back to ten. C to the F, C to the F. So when he gets into the solo, you could practice playing like the C to the F and stuff. But then when he gets to the solo, you can do your, you know, you got your C minor pentatonic there. So give that a shot. And then I got one more thing for the very end of this. So that's like a dragnet kind of thing from an old uh, cop show from like the 60s, 50s, whatever. So that's going to be 8, 5, 6, 
back to the eighth, down to this nine on the fifth string. Okay, I hope you all dug that. Much love, Frank Zappa, always. Please like and subscribe. Let us know what you'd like to hear next, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.